Hello everyone, my name is Dakoba, and today we're looking at the best alternate recipes for each stage of the game, organized by what tier they're most useful in. Before we get started, everything we're doing is timestamped in the description below, along with a full text version of this guide if you prefer that format. This guide is based both on the mathematics of the game, as well as a couple thousand hours of playtime and research, but for time limitations I won't be covering every recipe. If you think I missed something, leave a comment down below and I'll respond and pin the most valuable input from the community as a sort of PS on this guy. That said, I believe almost every recipe in the game has a time and a place, and just because something didn't make this list doesn't mean I don't like it or think it's worthwhile. It's just that there's 89 recipes and I wanted to keep this video under an hour. Let's get into it. Alright, these recipes are in no particular order. First off, we have Iron Wire. This is a big winner. It lets you use iron to make wire and cable, which replaces a rare resource in copper, with a more common one, and simplifies logistics to factories that use those components, often letting you remove copper from the supply chain to those factories entirely. I get this one early and use it often throughout the game. Second, we have cast screws, which simplifies screw production by removing a processing step. As long as you're using screws, this is a good recipe to have, although you may want to replace it with a higher yield one later. It's always a good option to have and it's always better than the default. Third, we have the stitched iron plate recipe. This one eliminates screws from production, and if you pair it with iron wire, it can still be done purely with iron, while being more efficient. This is another winner across the board, and something that I use throughout the game. I want to throw out an honorable mention here to the bolted iron plate. I almost never use this recipe in the early game, but I do use it often in the late game. It's less resource efficient than the default recipe, but greatly speeds up production if you can supply it. This requires at least tier 3 belts, so I tend to use this more later on, but it's worth picking up early if it's available. Tiers 3 and 4 introduce a number of great recipes. First off, we have the Solid Steel Ingot. This is an S tier recipe all around, giving you 50% more steel for your coal and iron, and building smelters is easy, and you actually end up using less power per steel produced than the default recipe. Next we have the encased industrial pipe. Like solid steel, you get more for less. This stretches your steel even further, even if it is a little bit slower to craft. It's easy to throw up an extra assembler to make up the difference. Third, we have steel screws. Now, I generally try to eliminate screws from later factories, but if you don't have the recipes for that and you need a ton of screws, this is the go-to. And fourth, I wanna talk about steel rotors and steel rods. I like steel rotors for simplicity, as it makes rotors and stators use the same materials, which greatly simplifies motor production. That said, steel rotors are less efficient than regular rotors, and steel rods paired with steel screws mean you can make a ton of rotors out of the same amount of steel. I almost never end up using this recipe, but every time I look at it, I find it very tempting, and I definitely think it's worth looking at if you're willing to take on a more complex factory to improve efficiency. Now tiers 5 and 6, things get a lot more competitive. There are still some clear winners, but almost every recipe introduced from this point forward has a time and a place that's easy to identify. Let's start with oil. Heavy oil residue is the big one, but it requires other alternate recipes to make use of. This acts as the base for massive oil efficiency when you pair it with diluted fuel and recycled plastic and rubber. Speaking of, diluted packaged fuel is our next recipe. This one, and diluted fuel once you get the blender in tier 7, double your fuel output when paired with the heavy oil residue. This can be burned for a highly efficient power plant or forwarded into our next recipe, recycled plastic and rubber. When you pair this with the diluted fuel, it lets you triple the production of plastic and rubber compared to the base recipes. While I generally prefer simple instead of higher yield for more common resources, with oil and other rare resources, the extra productivity can't be denied. Outside of oil, we have the heavy encased frame. This eliminates screws and pairs well with encased pipes. It also pairs well with steeled frame, which is pretty lackluster outside of this combo. Finally, we have the pure recipes, especially copper and keterium. These let you take rare resources and stretch them a bit further if you need them. These become very useful for nuclear later on or if you're going for a really massive build. I wanna make a special note here about the crystal and keterium circuit board and computer alternates. These are good recipes and they simplify production in exchange for rarer resources. Certainly worth using if you wanna take them on. There is one special synergy here that I almost never see mentioned and that's between the keterium computer and an otherwise very lackluster recipe, which is the electrode circuit board. It gives you computers out of crude oil and quick wire. These are both more limited resources, but if you happen to have them both in the same place and need computers, this is a really simple way to do it. In tier 7 and 8, things get even more competitive. I'd argue that there are no bad recipes in tier 7 and 8, so these are just the ones that I like best and use most often. 
First up, we have a pairing of two recipes, which are sloppy alumina and pure aluminum ingot. This makes aluminum production dead simple and super easy to balance. If you aren't making crazy amounts of everything, this is worth getting just for the ease of building the factories. The only nuclear recipe I really love is the uranium fuel unit. This greatly improves uranium efficiency, and it does add a little bit of complexity, but beacons are a pure iron recipe and crystal oscillators aren't that bad either. So this is a winner in my book, and I use it almost every time I do a nuclear setup. Finally, we have wet concrete. This is a useless recipe when it comes to production because limestone is everywhere and you don't need more concrete than you can get from that. But where it's a winner is that it lets you sink water. A lot of the tier seven and eight recipes give you excess water. And if you don't have a way to deal with this, it'll back up your production. Now, because limestone is everywhere, it makes it very simple to combine that with your excess water and sink it, which greatly simplifies your late game production chains. Now, I do want to make a note of a few other recipes here. First off, turbo fuel. I really like turbo fuel. I really, really like turbo fuel. And I really see its value since it does give you an extra 60% power out of your fuel. Unfortunately, it becomes viable at the same time you unlock nuclear power. And nuclear power kind of makes it obsolete. So it's a really fun plant to build, but it just, the recipes just come up a, a day late and a dollar short. I also want to talk about polyester fabric. If this comes up, it's worth grabbing as it lets you automate fabric production. You're going to need a ton of filters, so this one's worth taking if you see it. And I also want to mention here the two recipes that I never recommend taking, and that's going to be charcoal and biocoal. These require biomass, which you have to gather manually, and there, you have better uses for your biomass. I, I don't know why anybody would ever use these recipes. And that's going to do it for my list, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts on alternate recipes are. So leave a comment down below and I'll pin the best to share with the community. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this guide helpful. Leave a like if you have and subscribe if you'd like to see more. My name is Ben Nakoba, and I hope you have an efficient day. I'll see you soon.